Hi, it's Dickasaurus here. And today we're gonna to be working on a go see yellow, I believe. Pretty sure it's yellow. I'll have to double check, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's yellow. Um, this was actually a peppercora file that I thickened and added some details to make it look better. I did the emblem myself. Um, I think she looks pretty okay. Um, of course, always got to do some extra touch-up work when you use the peppercora ones. Uh, one of the fangs here broke off in printing. I still have it. I just need to weld it back on here and reinforce it and it'll be fine. But other than that, just going to hit it with some 60 and 110, epoxy sculpt some of the overhang areas so they look better, and then prime. So let's get sanded. And here for the sanding, I'm just hand sanding with some 60 grit to get all the rough spots down where there are supports or if there's any other issues I saw. And then I come back in with some 120 to get a rough sand all over the print. Here is, I'm gonna look it up. I think this is yellow. What could be black? Hmm, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll look it up and know for sure, but just gonna put some epoxy sculpt under here and on the chin. And here I'm using two part epoxy sculpt to smooth out the chin and also under the visor, where I had a lot of supports. Got that all cleaned up to make it look better. I try adding supports to the chin um, lately to make them look better after they're done printing, but just haven't had any luck. So this seems like the best option. And now after that epoxy sculpt dries, I'm just hitting it with some 60 and then 120 to get it back up to the same level of sand as the rest of the helmet. And then we'll move on to priming. And here's our first coat of primer. You don't have to get too carried away with it. I usually save the heavy coat for last, but just make sure you get every area well covered. And after I let that dry for at least 24 hours, a week at most, I'll come back in with some 220 here and sand this all down before we move on to our next coat of primer. After I got that sand to my liking, come back in with another heavier coat of primer. And make sure we get everything with this one. Then we'll move on to the wet sanding here. I apologize, my camera kind of drooped for the beginning part here. But we want to get everything as smooth as possible because it makes the finish that much better. And after that, we'll add the base coat of yellow. I always find the yellow is hard to get um, covering the primer. It usually takes about two or three coats. You want to be careful because you'll get runs really easy with the gloss stuff. So. All right, got to go see yellow here on mask off. I'm going to do the white now. I didn't worry about masking off all the bronze and such because I'm probably going to hand paint that, I'd imagine. And the... I don't know what creature... Yellow is a jaguar? Is they all mythical creatures? I think it's a jaguar. I don't know. Uh, but the jaguar on the side, I'm going to hand paint, of course. I could do a stencil. That's an idea. I don't know if I could size it correctly. I don't know, I'll look into that. I was gonna take a week to dry anyway until I get there or so. But we'll get this coat on here. 
And then the, um, I also masked off the part for the silver. It's under the masking there in the front. I'll probably do that as well. Maybe after the, you know, the white dries a good bit, but let's get this sprayed and get going. So here with the Gosi Yellow, um, this was a Pepecora conversion I did, um, much better than the Gosi Red I did. Maybe you can find it on my Instagram and look at it, but the, this one is certainly an upgrade. But the problem with this is there's no keys, so usually when there's no keys I want to use at least four magnets. And I usually save adding the magnets to later, but since I have to hand paint the uh, design on the side and it goes across both of the um, pieces here, I want to make sure I get it lined up. So I'm going to add the magnets now so I can keep it together while I'm, I'm doing the painting, at least the initial outline. Um, I add four magnets, two at the bottom where you would put the clasps and then two near the top. Um, I do not add the elastic yet because it's a lot easier to put the visor in before you put the elastic in. Because uh, once you can't get the back part away from the front, it's harder to maneuver the hot glue gun and all that. So one from my mistakes and don't do that to last. Also at some point I added the broken fang. Um, the fang broke off when I was taking the supports off and I I welded it together using a soldering iron, I think at this point, because I think my uh, wood burning tool was broken, but yeah, I don't, I'm, I apologize for not showing you how I did that. I did that and put some epoxy sculpt over it and sanded it, and it, it doesn't look as good as it would have stayed in place when it printed, but it doesn't look too bad. Now that we get all the magnets in, gonna let the hot glue set, and now we're gonna move on and do uh, two coats of silver on the mouthpiece here. And then here I decided to hand paint the bronze. I just spray paint some metallic bronze paint onto a paper plate and brush it on with a disposable foam brush. This paint's kind of weird because it separates because it's supposed to have metallic flakes in it. Uh, so it was kind of runny. I didn't think it was going to turn out that great, but it actually turned out pretty okay in the end. And here I'm starting to do the design. I have an acrylic um, paint marker here uh, with a fine tip that just traces the outline. Then I'll do the harder to get places with the brush, and I'm going to go back in here with a thicker brush and do the big areas. Um, this is going to take a couple coats, especially since it's over um, white. And you're going to think it looks terrible, but once you get the gloss on it, it's going to look so much better. And here I'm just going around and doing the black outlines around everything. Um, if you look closely at helmets, I never really noticed these black lines. I always thought people added them for some weird reason but you do see them some people make them too thick some make them too thin uh, this acrylic marker seems to be working good for me so it's what I'm gonna stick with now I'm just adding the uh, top coat here about two or three coats uh, this will make the acrylic black look so much better I guess you could use gloss black um, doesn't really matter in the end if you're putting gloss coat over it so whatever works best for you or maybe whatever you have laying around Uh, for the visor template here, I just put a piece of paper in the helmet. Uh, I tried to make it as close to flush where I wanted it. I traced it with a pencil. Um, then I added about a quarter inch of hoy around when I was cutting it out. Put it on the PETG that I use for visors. Cut it out and just hot glued it in. And I, pre I think this visor turned out very nice. Um, it's not like vacuum formed or anything, but all things considered, I like how it fits. Then after that, just add the elastic that I didn't add before very important and we're done
That is Ghosty Yellow or Big of Force Yellow finished. Man, I love how this turned out. Especially considering this was a Peppacora model that I had to fix up and add the details myself. I, a lot better than my other Peppacura uh, Mega Force helmet I did. I did uh, red. I might be able to find it on my Instagram. It doesn't look even half as good as this. The front's all messed up. I think I messed up the paint on the uh, jaw. I'm looking at it right now. And up in here it was all messed. But this is, this is much better. Uh, I really love this. I do have a model for Ghosty Blue, I believe. Mega Force Blue by 3D Command Center that I'm probably going to be making soon. I, I really like these helmets. I know people didn't really care for Ghosty, Procedure, or I mean, Mega Force and Super Mega Force just aren't good. You know, but yeah, really happy how this turned out. Happy how the uh, side detail turned out. Um, Again, if you'd like to see a special helmet or uh, have a request on one for me to make, let me know. I can try to make it happen. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. If you have any questions, hit me up on Instagram, uh, link below, Twitter, link below, or comment here. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.